In 1881, an architect called William Brown and an iron foundry owner called Benjamin Howe patented an idea for a new type of jail, the Rotary Jail. In hindsight, it was not a good idea. It's impractical, unsafe and massively overcomplicated, but that didn't stop them selling the idea to a few towns across the United States. And the first one was built here, in Crawfordsville, Indiana. And while it hasn't held prisoners for decades, it is the only one where the mechanism still works. We have a two-story rotary jail and there are eight cells on each floor. It weighs approximately 30 tons. It's made of steel. It's operated by a hand crank. The hand crank moves both floors of the jail at exactly the same time. It doesn't touch any of the walls. It doesn't touch the bars. The whole machine kind of sits around a central cylinder that runs from the roof to the sewer system, and it works like a pin. All of the weight of it rests on a lip on top of that pin. It's just a marvel of engineering for its time. You know. The advantage of having a rotational cell block was that you could have just the one opening the inmates can enter exit their cells from in front of a pie-shaped cell block. So if you only had one door to watch, then you didn't have to pay as many guards to be here to watch the inmates. There's just one way out. The half moon kind of seat shapes are toilets that have been welded shut. So. When our jail was built in the 1880s, our inmates had indoor plumbing and toilets inside their cells when most of the country didn't have it in their homes. So some of the issues with the jail are that from 1882 until 1938, there was just one opening on each floor. And there's an independently operating sliding door that locks closed on each floor to keep inmates just from jumping out whenever they want to. If there was a fire, you risk having to have a guard stand there and crank out each cell one by one to get the inmates to safety. The other issue is that uh, almost 50% of our inmates were arrested for being drunk. Some of them would overspill from the drunk tank and need to be in the cells to make room for other inmates as they came in. So they would fall asleep on the ground, hugging the bars, the machine would begin to move, and essentially the wall would come into contact with their limbs and break them or amputate them. They quit rotating the jail in 1938, they cut an individual door out of every cell and they installed the catwalk. So they quit rotating it because of the problems that they had with um, fire concerns and with inmates getting limbs chopped off. As far as uh, we've been told, as long as we keep maintenancing the machine the way that we do and treating it the way that we do, um, there's no end in sight. We'll be able to turn it forever. There are any number of ways that this could have been improved. The bars could have spun, not the cells, or you could remove the complicated, expensive rotation part entirely and just, you know, open one cell at a time, which is basically a regular jail. The moral of the story, just because an idea has been patented doesn't mean that it's actually any good. It just means no one's thought of it before, and sometimes there's a reason for that. <laughs>